Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I'm Steve and you're here because you must love football helmets. Today we are building an extra special all black everything Riddell Speed Flex adult helmet for Makai. Happy birthday, bro. And I'm gonna tell you right now, your dad is exhausting. No, he, he was totally honest and said, hey, listen, I know everything there is about basketball, but when it comes to football, not so much. So he had some questions. We were able to answer them. So if you have questions about helmets, here's our number. Give us a shout. We'll help you figure out what works and what doesn't work. Let's explain what we're doing to this helmet. So we're starting with a flat or matte black adult speed flex dead giveaway from across the room. Black pads equal adult, gray equals youth. Now Makai is 10 years old, turning 11. I actually think it's a very smart idea to get an 11 year old an adult helmet because you can have these things for up to 10 years and adult helmets need to be worn at 14 years or older. So they're only a half a pound more. It's a few ounces more in weight. If you are approaching 13, 14 years old, absolutely get an adult helmet. To go along with this helmet, we have front and rear green gridiron 3D bumpers, black face mask hardware, which is gonna go on this black SF 2BD SW. He's got a shock towel, a Sports Star Victory T-Rex Hurricane chin strap. This is relatively new. Sports Star did a great design. They took Riddell's cam lock system and they've now made their bottom straps to perfectly replicate the Riddell ones. So it has that nice secure sound. It locks in place, super easy to use. So these are outstanding. And then he's getting a Friday Night Lights shock visor. Right now, this thing is clear. When the video is done, I'm gonna take it outside in the sun. In seconds, this thing turns jet black. So let's start by taking the face mask hardware off that comes with these helmets. And we're gonna swap them for these black ones. So if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for watching and for finding us. I am always looking for suggestions and I'm gonna answer some questions while I'm doing this, like, where's Jay? Jay is still here. He is the head honcho at Green Gridiron. And as we grew and got bigger and busier, Jay's time was drastically needed at other parts of the business. I was always the guy behind the camera, if you all remember. So I kind of stepped up, took his role so he could do more business things, which is pretty boring. And Amanda has filled in for me behind the camera. And I think we're doing okay. You know, let me know. Let me know how we're doing. Amanda, I think we're doing good. Oh, yeah. If you're going to do anything on the back of the helmet, do it while the face mask is off because you have a nice stand. And in this case, we pulled the warning label off that big factory one and we're replacing it with our own. So we go through a couple of thousand warning labels a month. We have them in a bunch of different colors. In this case, we went with white because every single thing on this helmet will be black and white. Everything. I am so curious what Makai thinks of this helmet. Your dad went through great lengths, my friend, to make sure that we were getting everything that you wanted. We had a few phone calls and listen, we're happy to help people. At one point, I think he might have felt bad like he was being annoying, but it's never annoying. We, we know that there's a lot to learn with this stuff and we're happy to educate our customers. So while we have this, I'm going to throw this front green gridiron 3D bumper on. If you're doing this stuff at home, please make sure you have a nice soft mat or a towel or something to rest 
your helmet on because the last thing you want to do is go banging up your four or five hundred dollar helmet before you even get to wear the thing. If you're using a screw gun, make sure you don't have it cranked all the way to torque. I have a torque at like 10. Um, you want to be able to adjust this. Makai's going to have to adjust this for his head. And these right here, the cam lock. These use regular thumb screws. Now, with the thumb screws, you'll see they're tiny. And I mean, my hands aren't exceptionally large. I can't imagine some big dude trying to get in there. I highly, highly recommend you get this quick release tool. Makai's getting a, an actual repair kit from us, which has replacement valve caps. It has replacement thumb screws and this tool. In this instance, you want to use this and crank this down pretty good because the last thing you want is your chin strap to come undone. Now I'm going to tell you it's probable and likely over months or weeks even that these things loosen up. So take care of your helmets, face mask and visor time. So sometimes I put the visor on before, sometimes I put it on after. In this case, I'm going to put the face mask on first. Then I'm gonna slide the visor in and do it after so you guys can see how easy or hard it is to install a visor with the face mask on. Hint, hint, this one goes on super easy. So this is the Shock Zero G visor specifically designed for the Speed Flex. More comments I see a lot on this show are, what is up with installing quick release pins? The answer is they're quick release, okay? Super easy to take off. Sometimes they're a bit of a challenge to engage. So don't feel bad about yourself. If you're struggling a little bit, you wanna hear that click engage. They're a little harder on some helmets than other. It's, it's just the way it goes it's still one of the best systems that you could ask for, especially in case of any problem on the field. Every equipment guy, all the medical teams, they pop them right off, mask comes right off. Okay, so face mask is on. Yet another question that gets asked constantly. Why is there a gap in some face mask and helmet combos and not in others? Well. It's a pretty easy answer. The smaller the shell, the larger the gap. So whether it's a youth small or an adult XL, they're all the same masks. So bigger shell means smaller gap. Smaller the shell, bigger gap. In this case, this is a medium. So you're gonna see a little bit of a gap. It's totally normal. So now visor, this is how I do it. Tuck your chin strap in. Grab this visor like a piece of pizza. Just do a little bend and slide. Make sure you are centered. And I mean, it's that easy. These clips will then go in. Same thing here. Makai is getting black unbranded shock Viper clips. Again, um, Makai's dad really wanted to make sure that this was the look that he wanted. And even without our help, he was off to a good start. But with our help, we got him the look that we want. And what I'm gonna do is take this helmet outside and show you guys just how dark this visor gets when it hits the sun. It's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, and my goodness, boom, look at that. This is what a speed flex should look like. So Makai plays on a team called the Cardinals, and because of that, we have a little surprise. 
So here is a 3D bumpers. In this case, they're for Ball State, the Cardinals. I think in the future, if he wants to swap that, then he can go for it. I wanted to make sure everything was black and white only on this. So Makai, that's totally up to you, but that's our gift to you. He also has a black helmet hanger coming so he can display this when it's not in play. But dude, happy birthday, Makai. This is about as good as a present that any 11 year old kid could ask for. I tell you what, man. So thank you so much for sticking around. Please leave some comments on what else you'd like to see. I'm always open to suggestions. If you made it to the end of this video, we appreciate you. Thanks so much. Until next time, cheers.